So what are some typical flamenco chords and how can we take some basic chords that we might already know and turn them into frequently used flamenco chords? In this video, we're gonna work on a popular chord progression from the Andalusian cadence in E Phrygian. And we're gonna take a look at a couple variations. Hey guys, David here. Welcome to my channel where I provide weekly Spanish guitar and flamenco tutorials, lessons, and performances. So the Andalusian cadence that we're checking out today is gonna to be A minor. G, F, to E. All right, let's take the first chord, a basic A minor in first position. We're gonna get rid of the third finger and put the pinky on the fourth fret, third string. Now for G, we're gonna go from our standard G to we're gonna use our third finger on the third fret, sixth string, then our second finger on the second fret, fifth string, and then instead of playing the G and the E, we're just gonna leave that open. Now when we get to the bar chord F, all we're gonna do with this one is lift up the bar and just play the top string, so it's actually gonna be a little bit easier. Now let's go over to your basic E chord. Now we're gonna take the third finger and slide it over to the third fret. So we're gonna take this finger and slide it over right over here. So from this, and we're gonna have this now. Very typical sounding Spanish guitar chord. Let's go over that whole progression one more time from the top. Sometimes, as a beginner, you have a hard time transitioning between chords. So one small tip I can give you is that when you're transitioning between chords, try to find a guide finger or one finger that could guide you over to the next chord. Now, once you get used to it, you usually can just lift up your fingers and plop them all down at the same time. But when you're just starting off, it could really help to have that finger guide you over and then let the other fingers follow. For example, if we're going from a standard A minor to a G, I would let the third finger guide me up to the sixth string. Now if we're going from the G to an F, I would let the first finger fall down on that F on the sixth string while the other fingers come down. And then from the F to the E, I would lift up my fingers as you start playing the sixth string and I would put down the index finger as well. All right, guys, if you learned something new, please don't forget to like the video. And if you'd like to keep up with future lessons, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks so much for watching the video. Until next time, keep the practice up. Don't forget to enjoy the journey. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.